Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're going to compare 2018 version of Rolly Winkler from Mr. Olympia to Brandon Curry version 2019 Mr. Olympia where he won, where Rolly placed fifth, but the year prior Rolly was third and Brandon was actually fifth. The two competitors that placed higher than both of these guys in 2018 were the Mr. Olympia 2018 Sean Roden and Phil Heath, seven times Mr. Olympia. 2019 came, Sean Norden and Phil Heath didn't show up, so it was kind of expected to see Rolly Winkler, who was third at the Mr. Olympia last year, who beat all of the other guys that were competing at the Mr. Olympia this year, and Brandon Curry, who improved from last year and won the Armour Classic, beating Rolly Winkler as well. The fact that Brandon won the Mr. Olympia and Rolly took only fifth place means one of the two things. One would be that Brandon Curry, William Bonac, Dexter Jackson, Harry Chopin improved that much that they were actually much better than Rolly, and the other one would be that Rolly was simply off, which I think was the case. Rolly was off in 2019 Mr. Olympia. However, 2018, this was his best ever. He was conditioned, full, big, very, very good addition of Rolly Winkler, and many people thought that he was better than Phil Heath last year, and it is arguable, it is arguable, but let's not talk about that right now. I already made a video on this a while ago, and now let's actually compare shots, pose by pose, of these two competitors, and let's see who was really better. 2018 version of Rolly Winkler versus 2019 version of Brandon Curry. Alright, so let's begin with the front relaxed pose. And guys, I couldn't find the same photos of Rolly from pre-judging and the finals, and the same thing goes with Brandon. The photographers didn't take the shots or didn't hit the poses, but both of these editions are 2018 Rolly Winkler version of Mr. Olympia and 2019 Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry. So we start with this pose right here, and uh, it is really close. Pretty much all the poses are really close, it's really hard to make decisions, but let's, let's analyze their physiques. So the first thing that pops to my eyes is basically Rolly's width through the shoulders. He's just so wide, and his arms, and forearms, and pretty much everything, chest, he just looks super dominant, super big. He's just bigger upstairs than Brandon. Brandon is also very good upstairs, especially, especially compared to his lower body, but Rolly, just the amount of polish and the overall freak factor, it just impresses me more. The, the, the abs also are looking more prominent than Rolly, the chest looks wider and more polished, arms look thicker, forearms, shoulders are popping more. I don't know if I hit the ratio right though, these guys, I don't know who is taller, but anyways, you get the idea, it doesn't really have to be perfect comparison. So legs, I don't think it's really necessary to talk about legs, or all his legs are better. Inner part of the thighs, sure, Brandon takes it, but the, the outer sweep and the conditioning, you know, the deep cuts, that's on Rolly's side definitely, and overall size. Just compare the size of their quads compared to their upper bodies. Rolly's upper body is just more polished, bigger, fuller, overall better. And the upper body as well. I would go with 2018 version of Rolly Winkler with this pose. Let's go with the next one. Alright, so here they're hitting their front double biceps and um, Rolly, he's very good at this pose. His arms are just very, very full. Uh, those triceps are one of the best triceps in the history of the world, right? And the quads are probably not as conditioned as Brandon's, but the separation is deeper. Although he's not as detailed in the inner portion and the upper portion, just like Brandon. Brandon's legs are his weakness, but in this pose, he knows how to hide them. He really knows how to hide that weakness. He twists a little bit, making the illusion of his legs looking better and more, and those legs just flow well in this pose for Brandon. Although I would have to say that his legs are a little bit smaller than his upper body. Brandon's waist is smaller than Rolly's, and the overall polish, the overall conditioning of his body seems a little bit more impressive than Rolly. I mean, maybe it's the shadow, but I know in this pose, Rolly doesn't look that sharp. He looks very good, I mean, the flow is there, the silhouette is amazing, the, the arms are just huge, the weight taper is spot on, Brandon's lower body to upper body ratio is a little bit off, but I would still go with Brandon in this one. Simply because of the polish, because of the completeness in the details. There are no details lacking in his abdominal region compared to Rolly's abs, they're kind of messy here. And the upper portion and inner portion of his thighs is not as polished and as conditioned as Brandon's. So I would go with Brandon, just for the conditioning sake and the polish. Alright, so we're coming to the back double bicep, and if we're talking about the back itself, Rolly is definitely behind. 
Brandon definitely has better back overall. The thickness of those traps, the size of his waist compared to the lats and the rhomboids and everything, just the conditioning, the, 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 the thickness, the density of that back is overall better. But a lower body, legs, just don't flow that well on Brandon's physique. If you take your hand and you put it over Brandon's back and you just take a look at his lower body, it looks amateurish, really. I mean, it's Mr. Olympia winning physique, but, but those legs are just not good enough. The polish and the details and the deep cuts in his glutes and hamstrings are just missing. The size of his quads as well and hamstrings and glutes, the size is just not there. That's his biggest weakness and it is very, very obvious in the back double bicep shot. Now, Roly, his lower back is kind of shallow. The spinal erectors and the lower lats are just, just non-existent, really. You cannot really see them. Compare it to Brandon's lower back. Just a big gap and it really hurts him. But the overall mass of his lower body is just better. Glutes are not very thick and not very shredded. The same thing goes with his hamstrings. But the quads are very big and they create a very good silhouette compared to Brandon's silhouette that is horrible. And his glutes and hamstrings also. I mean, Rolly's hamstrings and glutes are much better than Brandon's. As far as arms, they are both very good, so no need to compare that. So basically, Brandon has much better back, but Rolly has much better lower body. Who would you go with? I don't know, really, be my guest. Rolly's upper back is also very good. But it's not as good as Brandon's. Brandon's back overall is just much better. But the lack of lower body is just really popping to my eyes too much. Rolly could be a little bit sharper still, but I don't know. Very, very close. Let's leave this one a tie. Let's say it's a tie. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. But I would think, I just think it's very close. It's very close. I can't make my mind. Really, very close. But now we come to another pose. And this one is also very close. But I think I can make my mind on this one. So now if you take a look at their arms, very, very close, very good arms, both of them. Shoulders also very good, chest, the same thing, quads and hamstrings, pretty close. Rolly has a bit better hamstrings and quads, but nothing really too much. But now let's go back to the arms and shoulders. And if you take a look at their shoulders, you will notice that Brandon's shoulders are much tighter, much more conditioned. The same, the very same thing goes with his legs, and it is obvious even more so. Just take a look at his tight, tight skin on Brandon's quads and glutes as well. So Rolly was, you know, his best ever, but not as sharp as Brandon, not as polished. So this pose, I would give it to Brandon. I don't know how would they look uh, standing one next to another. I'm sure Rolly would have an advantage simply because he's bigger. But Brandon is also <laughs> not a joke. He's very, very good. He's a Mr. Olympia winner, I mean, Rolly isn't. So this version of Rolly would be much closer to Brandon than the one from 2019, obviously, where he took 5th place. I'm sure if he showed up like this in 2019, he would be 2nd place at least. So it would be 2 of them in that top callout. Who would win? I'm not sure yet, but this pose, I would give it to Brandon. Alright, so we come to the front lad spread. I unfortunately wasn't able to find a good photo of Brandon Curry in his full body. But I had to show you Rolly's lower body because it is much better than Brandon's. We all know that. Rolly's legs are just much bigger and fuller and deeper striated than Brandon's. But even if you compare only their upper bodies, you will still notice that uh, Rolly is better. I mean, sure, Brandon's uh, chest seems a little bit fuller and more polished. The same thing goes with his entire body, the biceps as well. They seem a little bit fuller, thicker, you know. But the, the, the width is on Rolly's side, for sure. I mean, those lats are popping just crazy, and there is only a small, tiny space between his forearms and lats, which is a little bit bigger on Brandon's. So I would go with Rolly with this pose, and also legs considered. Just, I mean, Rolly's legs just much bigger and much fuller and everything, much better legs. So I would give this one to Rolly. And so we come to the side tricep pose. And I already stated that the Rolly's triceps are one of the best triceps in the history of the world. And it is true. I stand behind that. But just because the pose is called side tricep doesn't mean we're only watching their triceps. We're watching the entire physique while the specific muscle is showcased or just flexed. But not necessarily. Some bodybuilders are not even flexing the, the, the tricep in this pose. For example, Brandon Curry right here. He's actually twisting forward and he's showing his chest, his abs, his shoulders and biceps more so than his triceps. 
unlike Rolly. Rolly is definitely showing his humongous and freaky looking triceps. But the overall polish of their physiques, guys, if Brandon had very good legs, if his legs were supreme, if his legs were good as his upper body, he would be compared to the likes of Phil Heath. I mean, still I would have Phil Heath beating him at his best, but Phil Heath doesn't have the width in the upper body, although he does have a bit more matured muscle, the striations are better. But if Brandon had better legs, he would be a much better bodybuilder. And his side poses, in all of his side poses, you cannot really notice the lack of size in his lower body. You can still say that Rolly's legs are just bigger, but it's not that obvious that Brandon is lacking them, and they are looking very conditioned. And his stomach is looking on point, the chest is looking very good. Overall, just very good pose for Brandon. But if he was standing next to Rolly, this version of Rolly, he would look a bit smaller. But still, I would give it to Brandon, just because of the overall polish and the completeness of his physique. Alright, next pose is back double bicep, and if you take a look at Brandon's back, he's just looking super dominant. It's looking amazing. The upper traps are just looking so bulging and the, the lats are there. The spinal erectors are just barely hiding behind, beneath those thick lats. It's just very, very impressive. On the other hand, Roll is showing an amazing width, but the thickness of his middle lower back is not as good as Brandon's. Or his upper back, I mean anything. Really, Brandon is just better in the back department. But the lower body, lower body is definitely on the Rollie's side. And Rollie's back lat spread is just much better than Rollie's back double bicep. It's really hard to notice that his lower back is lacking in this pose. So it's very close. Still, Brandon's back is better. But Rollie's legs are just way, way better than Brandon's legs. So I would give this pose to Rollie. Alright, so we come to the most muscular and basically almost nobody can rival Rolly in this pose. This is one of the best, most muscular poses of all time, really. The size of those arms and forearms and shoulders and serrated chest combined with those deeply separated and developed abs and very good legs on top of that is just outstanding, very dominant. Brandon Curry though, very good as well. Very good and big and full arms, chest, abs are on point. Legs are looking better than on most poses of his from the front, but still not as deeply separated or as big as Rolly's. And his uh, rear delts are just not popping. Rolly's delts are just more, more dominant, definitely overpowering Brandon's delts, especially the rear delts. Also the side delts, probably front too, just overall delts of Rolly are just very, very dominant. They make him look super wide and they make Brandon seem a little bit more narrow. And also the legs, the depth of those stations in his quads, in Rolly's quads, are just more dominant. And this pose is definitely won by Rolly. And so we come to the last, the final comparison, and that would be absent eyes. Do I really need to go over this one? Is it necessary? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Rolly is just dominating here uh, by far, by far. I mean, just take a look at their legs. Night and day difference, night and day difference, just a huge, huge difference. The depth of the striations, the, the overall size and development on Rolly's side, just too far, too far. And the abs, Brandon and the Mr. Olympia was a little bit uh, watery, especially in the, in the finals. His abs weren't as separated as they can be. But Rolly though, Rolly was just shredded through the abs, and he always is. When he is watery or fat, his abs are all looking very, very good. He was known for having a bubble gut for some time, but not anymore. And even when he had a bubble gut, his abs were very developed, symmetrical, proportionate, and just a very good and aesthetically looking stomach. The lats, you can go either way, they're very close, but the overall pose is just one by Rolly. But basically, guys, if you compare 2018 Mr. Olympia version of Rolly Winkler versus 2019 version of Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry, you can notice that it is very close. Some poses are won by Brandon, some are won by Rolly. If they stood next to each other, it would be a different story that rhymes a little bit, but I would really like to see them compared like this, at their best. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see that at the Mr. Olympia 2019. I was really hoping for it. I was really hoping and I expected this to be your top two at the Mr. Olympia. It didn't happen though. It didn't happen, Rolly was off. So it sucks, but it is what it is. We won't see this this year, maybe at the Arnold, who knows, maybe next year. Let's hope for the best. As for now, this is it. This is it for this video. What do you guys think? 
Tell me down below, did I make a mistake with some of the poses, if you think so? Or who do you think was better? Can you make a conclusion? It is really, really close, but if you ask me, I would give it to Rolly. I think Rolly would be better. I think Rolly would win this Mr. Olympia if he showed up like this. Anyways, guys, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.